In this video, we'll try to solve another important coding interview question that is solving the character pattern sprint. So first, let us understand the logic. If you look at this, so we definitely need an outer for loop, one for loop to iterate through the number of lines. Then we need an inner for loop to print characters till from A to F. Then another for loop for printing the spaces. And then the next for loop to print the reverse image of these particular characters. So we need the first outer for loop for iterating through the lines. Then within this, we'll have three nested for loops. One is to print from A to F. And second one is to print the number of spaces. And third one is to print the reverse, nothing but F to A. So every time we need to decrement the maximum character, this one, to continue till the minimum character. Now first let us understand how do you write the code for this. Hey, thanks for watching our content so far. If you are new to Training Mark, we are the fastest growing technology training company and create content to help freshers like you to master the disruptive technologies like full stack development, AML, cloud, DevOps, etc. If you like the content so far, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon not to miss any new content from us. Like and share this video with all your friends. Let's build your career and the community together. If you can look at this, here first we have taken the number of lines is 6 and then the initial character to A and then we are calculating the max character based on the number of lines. So using the formula, initial character plus lines minus 1 and casting that to character. So the first for loop, int row is equal to 1, row less than or equal to lines, row plus plus, this will iterate from row 1 to row 6. Then to print characters in ascending order, we are taking the nested for loop, initializing it to initial character, and checking the condition till max character, incrementing it every time. And we are using just print, printing the character, giving one space. Print the spaces, we are using a formula to calculate because the spaces should be based on the number of lines. So, initially we are initializing space to 0, then space is less than or equal to, we are using a formula 2 into row minus 1 plus 2 into row minus 2 to calculate how many number of lines the space is required. So, we can increment that. So, now we are using space plus plus and then printing the space here, how many number of times you need. So, that many number of times you print the space. The third one is to print the reverse from the max character. So, we are just initializing ch is equal to max character, ch greater than or equal to initial character ch minus minus. But if f is coming again, we need to continue. So, to do that, we are using if ch is equal to initial character plus lines minus 1. If this is true, we are just simply continue. Means what? That only when f value is true, then we are just simply skipping that. Otherwise, so it will continue from e. So then we are printing the character in the reverse way. So then every iteration we need to reduce the maximum character so that it will gradually come for F to E, E to D or something like that. And after that, we are printing that into new line. So if we run this, now we are going to get an output something like this.